Gemini, hi. So this is going to be a reading for September 11th through the 17th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Gemini. What's going on for you? All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Nine of Swords. That's a pretty stressful energy right there. A lot of uh, stuff happening. Okay. It looks like nothing's happening, but a lot of stuff happening, though. Um, in the recent past, the Seven of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, the Five of Swords... Um, something shows up here as you investing in it, putting effort into it, and just kind of stepping away from it. Um, it looks like it's, it's shown up as an, uh, as an energy that's quite deceptive. So it could be maybe a pattern that shows up, you know, where you begin a lot of things and you don't finish them up. Something like that. I don't think it's tied up to something in particular, but it could be. But it's something that you definitely put in effort, put in a lot of, you know, like, okay, we're investing in this. And then the next day, it's like pretending like it never existed, you know? So given that, again, given that it shows up as being quite deceptive, it could uh, possibly lead to certain patterns you may have. Uh, in the current situation, the Knight of Pentacles, the Hangman, the Tower. Yeah, this is one of those energies where it moves so slow to the point of nothing moving, but it creates so much disruption that it's not even funny. So because of how slow some energy is moving towards you, it's like the end of the world, seemingly, you know? So I don't know what the hell is going on here, because I see a lot of nothing happening and that creating a lot happening, you know? Um, okay. In the immediate future, the Queen of Wands, the Judgment card, the King of Cups. Wow, that's a beautiful energy right there. Ooh, um, I don't know what the hell is going on, but you're opening up like a freaking flower. It's like, pfft. here's Gemini opening up fully. It's like an overnighter thing too. Like, okay, we're waking up very different today. In a good way. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But anyways, um, let's clarify. Let's see the Nine of Swords. The Seven of Swords, the Emperor, the Four of Swords. Is this regret? You're showing me a little bit of regret, but not in the sense of, oh, yeah, that thing could have worked out. Mm -mm. In the sense of looking back at the things that you possibly started and never finished, never really took them all the way, you know? Uh, and this is pointing me out to something in particular, where you feel like you left something unfinished. Because that shows up with a little bit of regret there. You're looking right at it and it's like... Mm. Okay, let's do the Seven of Pentacles in the recent past. You get the Seven of Pentacles, again, the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Swords. Okay, so it's something that... Hold on, let's do the Six of Swords. The Two of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands. Let's do the Five of Swords. The Four of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Queen of Swords. Um, so the way you're showing up here, you are showing up in a pattern. A pattern of, I'm putting effort into this, I'm investing into this. And you're, you're giving a whole lot of energy from all sorts of angles here to something. Uh, which means to me, investment. Yeah, you're putting all of yourself in there somehow. 
And then when it gets a little bit difficult, it's like, uh, you know, freeze a little bit. And then it's like, okay, how do I, how do I escape this now? How do I get the hell out of Dodge? Uh, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm done. I'm done. Done. Because it got a little complicated, a little, you know, there was a challenge in there somewhere thrown along the way. So when that happened, I see you being like, well, if it's not beautiful, it's not worth it. I don't care. Not realizing that maybe it's just a bump in the road. So you are looking here, especially at one particular energy that you did that with. Um, where when it became challenging, either you started sabotaging things in such a way that you find a way out or you kind of spun around in circles around it until you you're like okay i'm tired i need to get out of here uh there's definitely something around an aspect of giving up too soon maybe you know as you look back um it involves some sort of commitment which could be anything it could even be a friendship so uh but there's a sense of sadness over it there's a sense of almost recognizing you know that hmm, maybe i gave up too soon um let me do the knight of pentacles in the current situation the page of wands the ace of cups the death card let me do the hangman. The two of swords, the seven of wands, the ten of cups. And let me do the tower. The wheel of fortune, the five of wands, the justice card. Um... Uh, you're showing me all of these incomplete energies. Incomplete, incomplete, incomplete. Uh, even now, as you're showing me something finite, basically, it, it, it's kind of looking like nothing's happening here. It, it couldn't be that anything is happening because it carries like the, the energy of the ending of whatever this is, is sitting right on top of it all. And there's so many things happening. It's like, um, but again, comes with a sense of, because it's incomplete, because it hasn't been done properly. There's no closure to it. There's no this, that, and the other. There's so many, so many energy that, um, that are just up in the air there for this one. Nothing has been closed off. And I'm still not seeing a specific energy that this is tied up to. I kind of get the sense that whatever is happening to point you out in these directions, it's happening to point you out to some sort of a pattern of are you sure you're taking things to completion and even and especially important things? Or are you starting something and then mm, we'll see, we'll take care of it later or mm, and later never comes, you know? Um, there seems to be quite a struggle here with this right now, especially you're dealing with a situation that seems to have an ending attached to it. But it's not ended because there's so many energies up in the air here that are playing like crazy there. So it's like, no, it's not. Normally, from a very logical kind of perspective, yeah, this is done. Uh, from an energetic perspective, hell no, it's not. It's not. Things need to be cleared out. Things need to be sorted out uh, for you individually, not necessarily with whoever this is or, you know, uh, there are so many things that are just left up in the air and closed off energies. Don't don't just kind of swim up there in the air and be like, yeah, let's have fun. You know, no, they're settled. They're closed. They're like, OK, go. You're done. No reason for those energies to be here anymore, you know, but for you, they are. They're up and running like crazy. Um, let's do the Queen of Wands in the immediate future.
the Empress, the Three of Swords, the Judgment card. Okay. Okay, definitely the energies are flipping back around in the sense of you stepping more into your power, you feeling better within yourself and more balanced. Uh, there's pain there, but you are identifying it. Maybe that's what created this whole... It seems like a little bit of inner chaos, you know, about things that are incomplete, basically. Um, but as the energies are shifting more towards the direction of you finding yourself again and finding that sense of clarity, you're definitely identifying some sort of pain attached to all of this. Uh, and you're working on it. So that's the good news. You got it. Now, I don't know what that is exactly. You know, it's really up to you. If you find It's very hard to get into these energies and you know, it, it feels like I would be swimming, like, you know, moving stuff along the way to see what's in there. And it's like, I, I can't pick anything out of these. Um, but you're looking like you are, you know, eventually. So that's the important part. Um, I would spend a whole lot of time to find something here. And no, uh, and energy especially. Uh, for the Judgment card, you get the King of Wands, the Knight of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're definitely finding a matching energy to yours here. Man, this feels good. This feels good like uh, the chemistry here between you and whoever this is feels really, really good. I don't know who they are, what they would represent in your life or anything like that. It just feels like there's this natural chemistry between the two of you. And it feels like it's going in a good direction, whatever this is. And it feels like through your healing, as you're working, through this pain that you discovered, uh, there they are. Boop. Showing up. Let's do the King of Cups in the immediate future. The Star, the Six of Cups, the Hermit. Ooh. So this could be something. Something, something. Definitely a soul connection. There's love underneath it all, or it has the potential to get there. So this could be something. And it looks very, very good. Very nice. So yeah, uh, interesting how it all flips. You got me so tired, especially with these energies right here in the current situation. Uh, I hate when I see energies. Basically, the way I see them is just dancing. And they're dancing so chaotic that it's hard to tell what the fuck is going on there. What's what's. And I can't pull out because I'm curious too. I'm like, I need to figure out what's in there. And they're just exhausting me, energetically speaking. And then when I get to a more clear, like, okay, I know what's up. I'm a, whew, I come back into, okay, this is better. Um, so it's quite fascinating. But this one here, the dancing was something else uh, for sure. And you would probably feel that in a way of, you would maybe show up a little bit chaotic a little bit like what the fuck is going on i don't even know anymore you know uh that could be you with these energies running the show for you uh but let's see what the universe has to close it off here the high priestess the four of cups the four of pentacles mm. i get the sense that you're a little upset that you didn't catch this this pattern these energies dancing like crazy uh, you seem to be a little upset with yourself. Like, how did I not see that? You didn't. It's okay. You don't need to be upset. Um, they sneak up on people. You can't, you know, you can't catch everything. And I know because you're coming from the perspective of I should know better. You know, I worked on myself enough to recognize these things and not be dragged into uh, this kind of an energetic play. Yes, but no. You know, you do know better. But these things happen, you know, and they need to happen so that you snap out of it and you're like, oh, I know how to snap out of it. It's cool, you know, but it does happen that you're dragged on. Don't be upset with yourself. You, you're, you're a little hard with yourself here. Um, yeah, you look like, no. Yes. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.